Hi crafters, this is Dawn Stock with StampingWithDawn.com. It says I'm going live, so I'm waiting for it to pop up on here. Let's see, I gotta have my glasses on in order to see this, so hopefully it's going live. Oh, I forgot my soda. Hold on, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, there you go. Alrighty. Okay. I've been recording videos like crazy and it seems partway through my video all of a sudden I have like either a coughing jag I've talked too much I need something to drink so I wanted to make sure I had my soda here with me so let me make sure I'm going live on here if you're on give me a thumbs up let me know that you're here so that I can see you hear you not really hear you but that way then I can see you so let's see Oh, good. Okay, it says my friend Monica's on and Nancy's on. And Laura, you must not have to work tonight. She says, uh, hello, Dawn. And oh, Debbie, thank you so much. <laughs> Debbie is actually a new friend of mine. Um, my friend Karen, I, I've met her online. Um, she's a, a fellow um, demonstrator that we've, we've tag teamed a little bit on. And Debbie's part of her team. And um, Debbie, I know Karen says that you have been a godsend, and I see it there on your guys' group page since Karen's part of my group page and I'm part of her group page. So um, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> you don't realize how much you do need that extra. Hey, yeah, you're going live. You're in the right spot. I can hear you all of that. So thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate that. All right. I'm going to chat with you for a minute beforehand um, while we're getting on. If you are part of my email list, and guys, if you are not, there's two ways you can be part of my email list. One, you can send me an email. Okay, that's easy. I mean, that's the truly the easy button. However, the easiest button is for you either to go to my blog, which is Stamping with G, stampingwithdawn.com. And I think I have it set up for like 15, 20 seconds. So give it a few seconds. And then this pop-up comes up and says, hey, do you want to join my email list? That way then you can fill it out, all of that. In the event you ever want to no longer be part of my email list, when you get an email, there's at the very bottom, it just says unsubscribe. You can just click unsubscribe and I won't send you any more emails. It's nice and easy. Um, but that's the easy, easy, easiest way. That's truly the easy button, the easiest button. The other way is if you have a cell phone, um, you can text. So open up a message and the number, and I know it doesn't seem like it's enough numbers, but it's 22828. That's like your phone number that you're calling. But if you do that, and then you type in the word Latte Joy, all one word, L-A-T-T-E-J-O-Y, Latte Joy, because that's the name of my team. Um, when you do that, you can subscribe to my email that way. So you'll just follow those prompts. Either way, we'll get it to you. Um, if you are on my calendar, which if you're already on the email list or saw the email on my Facebook, I have a QR code. I didn't set it up, my son did. Um, but you can scan that QR code and it takes you right to that as well. So any way that you want to do it, those are always the easiest way. Okay, so there's that. That was thing number one. Thing number two, let me grab them right here. You guys know, and I have a lot of little flyers that I keep in mind, because you guys know this is my job. This is my business, okay? So I have... <laughs> Have my little list for what I still need to order. Let me go ahead and put that out because it's just the silver paper. That's all the more I needed is the silver foil paper. So I leave myself a little sticky note. And for those of you who got your catalog the other day, you should have had a wish list in it from it, in there from it. And my friend Angela already sent me a thing because um, Angela's part of my uh, club for the Latte Joy Club. So I put a, a special wish list for my hosts and for my club members. They got a special wish, wish list that was supposed to have sticky on the back, but it didn't. So I put one of the, uh, the purple tape, which my friend Nancy Francis gave to me. So I just put a piece of the purple tape on that and that way then they had it right there. But this tomorrow is the last day for this catalog, the last day. So guys, you know that last chance list is going on. There's a lot of things retiring, um, which is good because guys, you gotta have room. I mean, you guys can see, I've got a lot of stuff back there, but you gotta get rid of some stuff in order to make room for the new stuff. It's okay, it's really a good thing, I promise you it is. Um, you can keep your favorites, there's no problem with that. I'm keeping my brood, brew some fun. That one, they're gonna pry for my cold dead hands. But 
this is the catalog that retires on May 2nd. So guys, tomorrow, this is tomorrow night, this is gone. 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time, gone. So if you want anything out of it, you make sure you order that today or tomorrow, okay? And uh, a friend of mine, she wanted to order something and I felt kind of bad for her. I did feel bad for her, but it had been in the catalog and it was available all year long, guys. I mean, it was available all year long. She didn't realize she wanted it until the last minute, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, when she went to get it, it was no longer available. So she was able to punt and get something else in a different language. But I felt bad for her because she wanted the stamp set, but it had been available all year long. And just through a series of events, you know, we all get busy, that happens. She ended up missing out on the actual one that she wanted. So she was able to get it in a different language so that she had the, uh, the stamps that went along with it. She just, well, I guess she could use the sentiments, but you know, she doesn't speak that other language either. So guys, what I'm saying is if there's something you want, there's always a workaround, okay? I am going through my stuff for my BOGO sale, but guys, my BOGO will not be until at least July. It may even be August, okay? But it won't be until later this summer. And um, yeah, just be aware of that, okay? So here's this one. It does retire tomorrow. So make sure if there's anything you want in there, please make sure you get it. You've had a year. Um, but you know, sometimes something comes to your, your thought process in the last hour and you're like, oh my gosh, I could use that. That happens. It happens to all of us, okay? But just be aware that if it sells out or if it's already gone, you may have missed the boat on it. That's okay. So with that, we're going to say goodbye. Bye. It's going to fly on off, right? And then over here, this is the new catalog. Yes. And my wish list is right here on the front. Let me take that off. Oh, here's the wish list. For those who are club members, they got one like this, or I think I put it on a couple of other people's ones on there too. But this was the wish list. It's a it's an older Stampin' Up! wish list, and it had sticky on it, but it wasn't staying very well, so that's why the purple tape is on there. But this is the catalog, and I can only show you guys the front. I can't show you anything on the inside. They won't let us do that. That's against compliance, and I kind of like being a demonstrator, so I'm not going to break the rules. Um, but that is effective on the 3rd, on May 3rd. Now, if you have this one, which is the spring catalog, or they call it now the uh, January to June 2022 mini catalog. It's a spring catalog, all occasions catalog, however you want to call it. Um, this is still good through June 30th or while supplies last. So guys, we're in the last little bit on here. So if there's something in here you want, make sure you get that, okay? Again, we've had this since January. So we are starting to be in the final, you know, it's kind of like me saying if I wanted to lose 30 pounds before going to a wedding, I'd have to plan for it, you know, starting in January to lose the 30 pounds versus today saying, oh my gosh, I have that wedding on Saturday. I got to lose 30 pounds. I can't lose 30 pounds in six weeks. I usually can't lose 30 pounds in six months. <laughs> uh, can I get an amen, right? Okay, so there is all of that. But make sure you look at the last chance list that is available Oops. online. If you go to my website, which is right underneath there, and the new host code is there. It's right, let me open up that window again. Yeah, right there, see that host code? That's the new host code. And if you got my email this morning, you saw there's gonna be a change to the allocations card class. Um, several of you know, I got a little bit behind. Um, good thing, to, it's a very good problem to have, but it wasn't fair to you guys. So because I offered all these different specials, I was trying to get everything all caught up and a few things fell through the cracks they just did so to make it easy and to make it fair to you guys from now on the all occasions card class the free with the purchase one that is going to only be available the 20th through the 25th there will be a special host code for that and i will post that host code on the 19th but that is um that class will be free with a 35 dollars online order before shipping and taxes you will receive the four cards and i ship those to you everything comes because you know sometimes it's kind of nice to have some happy mail come i'm just saying i'm sure none of you guys get bills or visa or anybody getting any of those political ads right now oh my gosh so it's fun to have something nice to come okay so there is all of that and did you see the email that I sent today?
Did you see this little flyer? When I flip over here to the camera, I'll show you it. They have an, um, a starter kit special starting on May 3rd, so on Tuesday, okay? I know, nobody. everybody always says, no, John, I don't want to do what you do. I don't want to sell. I don't want to have classes. I don't want to do any of that. Shh, don't tell anybody. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can be your own best customer, and you just start saving 20%. You have the ability to go up to 25% once you hit a certain level of sales, but it's like a 20% off coupon to go in any of those big box stores. That's it. That's it. And you're part of my team, which... Let's face it, I got the best team in the world. Sorry, Debbie, I know you're on here. Karen's team's good too, okay? But my team's been around a little bit longer, so shh, don't, don't, tell, don't tell Karen I said that. Alrighty, so are you guys ready to flip over? I'm going to share a couple of things with you, and then we are going to make a card tonight. It's going to be a very fast and easy card, and we're going to use the Let's Set Sale. For those of you who are, um, anybody who knows me you know every month I do that monthly coffee club it's I actually call it the latte joy club because again my team is latte joy it's a coffee club um, make sure you have your cup of coffee and then you craft and what I do is I provide a very detailed PDF tutorial and there's also an assembly video I usually don't stamp on the video because otherwise you'd be on there forever um, but I show how to assemble everything and literally when I set it up I'm like across from you type of thing so it's just like we're chatting just like this so I will show you last month's kit which is already sold out guys I got rid of all my extras everything is gone the only thing available for the let's set sale coffee club class is just the PDF tutorial and those are $20 so if you're interested I can give that to you let me know um, I can send you the link so that you can we can process it that way alrighty so you guys ready to flip over alrighty ready let's see if I can do this one two and three Woohoo, looky there. All right, let me grab my glasses on here. All right, first thing first, here is the starter kit. And guys, it is on my email that I sent out this morning, okay? What you get, you guys know our starter kit is $99. It's free shipping. You got to pay sales tax, okay? So here in the uh, Franklin County, Ohio area, it's about, uh, last time I did the math, it was 106.43. You get $99 worth of stuff, and it's $106.43. Sorry, you pay $99 for the starter kit with tax. It's $106.43, and you get $125 in product. But they're sweetening the pot, and this is direct from Stampin' Up, guys. But it's only good the 3rd through the 31st of May. So once the new catalog starts through the end of the month, they are giving you... The 2022 to 2024 in color 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Now that's the assortment pack, guys. So you get all five colors in there. They are giving you the 2022 to 2024 in color <clears throat> 6 by 6 designer series paper assortment. Guys, I think that's a $12 value. The ink pads, 2022 to 2024 ink pads. And, okay, and this one, I'm going to give you the item number. So make sure if you got a pen, you can write this down. It's the 2022 to 2024 in color grid paper. Now, guys, this is something brand new. It's not even available to me until May 3rd, but it's a new grid paper. So, like, this is the old grid paper with the old retired in colors, the ones that are going away, the bumblebee and jade and moonlight and all of that, okay? It's a beautiful grid paper, and I know you probably can't see it on here. If you're on my email, you got that email this morning. But the item number is 160009. Write that down because I know I'm going to be ordering that. And guys, I need grid paper like I need a hole in the head, okay? I've got so much grid paper, but this is so pretty. And you know, you want pretty things when you're stamping. So if you are interested in joining my team, just go below here, uh, right there. It says dawnstock.stampinup.net. There's a link on the top that says join now. Just click that, but don't do it until May 3rd, okay? And then you get all this free stuff. I know. Thank you, Stampin' Up. Alrighty, then the next one. You guys know the in color. Ready? You guys see this? Golden Voucher. For those of you who are not yet a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you may want to think about it for this month, okay? Every May Paper Pumpkin subscriber will get the chance to win a golden voucher worth $25 or $34 if you're in Canada in Stampin' Up! products. The winners will find their golden voucher in their May 2022 Paper Pumpkin box. Guys, I do get a couple of extras of my Paper Pumpkins, so 
and I sell them sealed intact. So if you're not a subscriber and you want one, let me know. So there's that one. And okay, whew, that's all your sales stuff. All right. So what I want to talk to you guys about is the coffee club. And that's actually what we're going to do is we're going to make a card. Oh my gosh, now all of these came up. Okay. Oh, my friend Jennifer's on. Hello. Make room. Make <laughs> Yeah, I know. Make room. My friend Denise. Hello, Miss Carol oh, from the greatest <laughs> state up north. Lovely earrings and white gray hair. You can't be 35. Hey, Carol Grove, I want you to know, kids nowadays are coloring their hair with the gray and the platinum. I just got tired of paying, um, you know, and going all those different weeks. So, and I actually think it's kind of pretty when it's up close because, you know, when you use the, uh, the clarifying shampoos and everything on it, man, it looks really nice and sparkly. I love it. Lovely earrings. Oh, and the earrings, thank you. I got those at a craft show when I was with my mom. Thank you. Miss Paula. Hi, Roz. Hello, Miss Joyce. It's so good to see all you guys on here. All right. So last month, or yeah, last month, because now we're officially in May, for the April Coffee Club, what we did was we did the Let's Set Sale stamp set, and you could have added on to the sales, the stamp set and the uh, the punch. You could have gotten the bundle if you wanted, if or you could use something else with it. But what they got was a full spool of this magnetic not magnetic, metallic mesh ribbon. So they got a full spool of this. And guys, if you haven't played with this ribbon, I love this ribbon. We used it in the retreats. Was it last year, the year before? It was originally in the holiday, like in the um, Halloween type of stuff, because I think it was supposed to be kind of like cobwebby. Oh my gosh, wait until you see what I do with this for the paper to make it look like water and it shimmers with the water. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I will tell you is this ribbon, because it's got all those little nooks and crannies into it, it sticks to everything. So they got a full roll of that. And then they also got a package of the faux sea glass shapes. And there was a little bit of a, it was a little dicey there for a minute because these were on back order. They came in right before I had to ship so I, I ordered them and I had said they were going to get a package of the polished dots instead we were going to substitute, but I just like these so much better. So the ones who were subscribers, because I love my subscribers, they, they sign up and they take my class every month without even knowing what it's going to be because they like my stuff. They're my friends and they like my stuff and I really appreciate it. I actually gave each one of them a half a package of the polished dots because it was just a little, well, I don't know what's gonna happen, but the samples that we used were these faux sea glass. Alrighty, so what I'm actually gonna show you is the sixth item that we made. I've got my cards here, but you don't get to see those yet. This was the sixth item that was made for the coffee club. And guys, um, this month it is changing, and I did put that on my blog, and I did put it on that email. It's a thing that looks like this, and it says, Welcome, Intro, and Important Information. It's the monthly coffee club class, but it goes through what all you're getting, the video, sign up for the emails, the monthly subscription, and then your different options. But my customers, which I love, that they reach out and they tell me what they like and what they don't like, um, or where they think, hey, Dawn, could you do this instead? I would appreciate it if you could try this. Well, what I've always done is five cards, and then the sixth item is a 3D item. It's usually like a, a box or a frame or a bag or something. Well, this month what we did was, and did you guys see these acetate boxes are going away? I love these acetate boxes. It will hold comfortably five cards, barring layers, okay? and envelopes and i've just got these in the clear envelopes but guys these things are fantabulous and i don't want you to see the cards yet but so i'm just putting them in like this and see it seals it and guys what you can do on this is let me tuck that back in oh goodness that one card is just wanting to be a little difficult there all right so once it's in here like this, you can take a piece of ribbon and wrap a ribbon around it, tie a bow, and you have a really nice gift to give to somebody and see how it holds all the cards in. It's wonderful. But because they're retiring that, so make sure, and I don't know if that still is available, I gave each of the ladies, because all of my subscribers are women right now, I gave each of the ladies two of these because I thought, you know, 
this would be a really good thing. But what we made were these little three by three cards. And these are exactly everything I gave them. I gave them six of the three by three envelopes. And I gave them six of the card bases, which are three inches by six inches. And look at how fun these are to make just little different ones. Guys, these can go into a graduation present. These can go to tip your waiter if you've got a waiter or if you're doing DoorDash and you want to tip them that way, you can throw cash into it on here. And guys, are you ready? You can see how these are done on here. Look at how pretty. And see, they used the ribbon that was part of it. Now, I did not put any of the faux sea glass shapes onto it. But look at how fun those are. Look at the envelopes. We even stamped the envelopes. I know, right? But then what they were going to do is they're supposed to put everything into here. We didn't decorate this up because it's just solely to protect your cards, but that way then they could throw this in their purse or in their car or in their bag or whatever they wanted. And then they had these little cute cards to go with it. And see, look at how cute that is. The envelope matches. I know, right? Isn't this a fun thing? And again, my subscribers, they're, you know, they like the stuff that I do and I really do appreciate that because when you subscribe, Every month you get charged the $39 and every month it gets shipped directly to you and every month you don't know what it's going to be. Now I did tell you a little spoiler alert, but I can't show it yet because it's in the new catalog. It's called Best Year. I'm going to leave that one out because I'm going to show you on that one. Best Year or Amazing Year. Sorry, Amazing Year. I'm looking at Best Day. Amazing Year. And I can tell you what page it's on. That's what we're going to use this next month. So guys, pulling out your new catalog here, okay? Amazing Year is on page, and I even tried to see if I could find it out online somewhere. I couldn't find it anywhere. Amazing Year is on page 28 of the new catalog. That's the stamp set we are going to use for this month. And we're going to use a new set of dies. How many of you guys miss the stitched shape dies, those beautiful, it had squares and ovals and circles onto it? Yeah, I miss those. I, I sold so many of them because they were such a great deal and they worked for everything. Well, we're playing with the new ones. It's called Stylish Shapes and that is a great, great die set. Okay, so there. So you can see this is kind of how it is that it sits into your purse. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you how we're going to play with this and how we're going to make this. The first thing you're going to do is, and this is what came into your kit. They received the, um, this is two and three quarters by two and three quarter white square. And actually you need one for on the inside too. Okay. Then they received different colors. You saw the different colors and it was cut three by six. Now the way that it's changing is this was a note card like this. The way that it will change this month is they would only be able to make it into something else. So I went ahead and I cut my three by six in half. So this is going to go on like that. Then, well, we'll show you that what's next in a minute. Okay. So this is what they would have gotten. Okay. Well, they would have actually gotten two whites and this piece here, but it would have been combined. It would have been the three by six. So I just cut it in half. And then I'm only going to use one of these for right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the stamps. Now, what I had told the ladies were, because again, uh, my subscribers are all women right now. We actually used all of the bright markers. I like to color with markers. So it was really a bit of a technique into it, but it was also a card class. So it kind of combined the both, the best of both worlds. But this way, then they got to play with some other stuff. So on this one, I have grabbed out, because I'm only going to use certain ones. I grabbed out my Pacific Point marker. I grabbed out my Bermuda Bay marker. I grabbed my Coastal Cabana marker. And then because this color is Gorgeous Grape, I went ahead and I grabbed my Gorgeous Grape. All of those are out of the Bright's color family. Now, those of you who know me, what's my favorite color? early espresso. So I did grab my early espresso marker. This is from the neutrals and you have to buy the whole set in order to get it. I have the whole set because I do like early espresso. If you don't have the neutrals, what you could do instead 
is buy the basic black marker. You can buy, that's the only marker that you can buy individually. And I think it's like three, you know what I'm gonna say? It's $4. I think it's only like three fifty, but it's under $4, but that way then you have a, a neutral color for that. When you're coloring direct on stamps, you use only the markers or the ink pads or something like that. You do not use the blender pens. Blender, the blends, those are out. You cannot use those, okay? You use only the markers on this. Do not use your blends on it, it won't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our little sailboat here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just do the sailboat because I'm gonna put the, I'm changing this up. This card is not one that they did for the class. So this is like a bonus and you guys are getting to see it. So I'm gonna grab my block and you guys know I have a zillion blocks, so there. Oh, sorry, did you guys see how I did that? When you peel it out from your photopolymer, you set it down and let it take back its original shape because these are very pliable. If you wanted, you could just set it on here and then if you wanted to make it so that your sail was like off to the side, you can do it that way. Can you guys see that? See how it just moves? I wanted it to go back to its original shape, so I'm just gonna set it down, give it a second to come back to it, and then you take your block and try not to get your noggin in, there. So that way then that's on there. See how that's on? All right. Now again, if you don't have the early espresso, grab your, or this is my early espresso. If you don't have early espresso, grab the basic black, and that will work. I just like the early espresso better. So what we're gonna do here is you're just coloring it directly onto it. You guys see how that is? Oops, I didn't wanna do that. There's a little flag up here on the top, so I just pulled that off. Yeah, don't use your thumb like I just did, but all right, so there's that one. And then let's make this one's flag purple using Gorgeous Grape. So then you just go up here and you color in the little flag. And then once you color on, you go <sighs> directly onto it. And I'm gonna make sure it's here on my grid paper. And let's put this one We'll put him like he's going off there. Oh, I should have made that up a little higher. Oh, well. Alrighty. And I'll come back to how to fix that flag because it didn't come out very well. And then I'm going to grab my early espresso again and color this in. Did you guys know you could color directly onto the markers? It's so nice. I mean, so nice. Um, I never had all of the markers. My friend Nina, when she started, and you know what? On this one, no, let's do Bermuda Bay. I'm going to do Bermuda Bay on this one for the flag. My friend Nina bought all of the markers eons ago. And back then they were like, I don't think they were $110. And Nina told me she bought those. I was like, Nina, those are $110. How did you afford that? She's like, Dawn, you're gonna love these. And I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, no, you're gonna love those. All right, so this one's done. So I'm gonna set that one aside. Now, can you see, those are kind of just little blobs up there for the, uh, the flag. So I knew this one was Bermuda Bay. So now I'm gonna use the pen tip and all I'm gonna do is just color it and make it more pointed and just kind of go over it again. So nothing big, just a little fix. And the same with my gorgeous grape. And do the same there. I know, did you know you could do that? And guys, I know a lot of people will head on out and everything, oh, um, Joyce says adorable cards and love, oh, wait until you see the cards. Oh, Carol, Joyce, you guys are gonna love these. Um, at the very end, I'm going to show you how to make the water tri-colored, and you're going to really like that. I showed them how to do it in the video, but I'm, they, I'm hoping they're watching too. But that way then they can see it again how I'm doing it. Alrighty, so then I'm going to do this side here for the, um, for the sails. Just so that you know, the curvy one is on the right. This one right here is on the left. So we're going to grab the left one here. My dad would always say, lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? All right, so here's this one. And let me grab my block. By the way, these are all D blocks, D like Dawn. And that way then it's just, it's easier. Oh, again, you saw I just let it sit there. Now on this one right here, I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana and the Bermuda Bay. Those are the two colors. And I'm gonna start with the light one up here on the top. So I'm gonna color right on here. And then there's another line, so I'm gonna skip that section and then I go down past that other line. Oops, Hub sounds like he might need to go outside. Well, he can wait a few. Or maybe Hubs will take him. I think Hubs is in the other room right now. All right, so can you guys see how I colored those? I think you guys can see that. And then here's the Bermuda Bay. 
and you color the light one first that way then if it goes in as you're coloring here and it picks up the lighter color it's okay whereas if i had done this one first and then i went to the coastal cabana if my coastal cabana marker went into the darker of the bermuda bay it would have picked up that color and then it would have gotten onto that marker and that's not a good thing all right so here's this so you see how i'm just going along on that okay so there's that one and i'm going to go so remember you huff it to make sure that it stays wet and then here's that one so we're just going to go right here and let's bring him down here and you know what those are going to overlap oh well that's okay there's that one and ready ready for the magic ta-da there can you see how it's got the two different shades onto it now you can notice on here that the Bermuda Bay went a little bit, or I'm sorry, the Coastal Cabana, I didn't get that colored in very well. So all you're gonna do with the pen tip is you're just gonna go very lightly over it. And you're just kind of scribbling on a little bit of color for the background. There, did you guys know you could do that? It makes it so nice and easy. All right, so now this one's on here. And let me just grab some of my, I still have my Stampin' Mist, I love that meant to grab my chamois but i forgot to so there's that one and i like to use the stamp and mist because it conditions it at the same time that it cleans it all right so that was there and then on this one i'm going to use pacific point and the gorgeous grape so again starting with the lighter color on the top and these are both very vibrant so one's not really lighter than the other but we'll just go that route I should have started with this so you guys could have seen it a little easier, huh? All right, so see how that is like that? And spoiler alert, guys, there is a new stamp set in the new catalog that is Lighthouses. Does anybody here like Lighthouses? Mm-hmm. There is a die set that goes with it. I cannot wait to play with that because that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so now you can see on this one how it's got the purple and the blue. So again, onto it and we'll just go right along in here stamp that down ta-da see how pretty those are i know right all right so let me go ahead and remove that one and since i'm doing it as i'm doing it i'm just going to go ahead and put this one back away i know right just makes it so much easier and guys wait until you see how we add the water to this there are two different stamps to use for the water and i cannot wait to show those to you so again this is on the right side oops press down so we're going to do the lighter one first again and remember we started with the light one at the top that's why i just always start you know have your routine and stick with it so i started with the lighter at the top again i'm just skipping every other one there's that one and then did the darker one next and guys, for those of you who don't know, the photopolymer, they have like a little, um, I don't know, I wouldn't call it necessarily a, um, they have some kind of like a little oil type thing on it. Make sure you clean those off before you start using them. So here's this one. And I'm just going to bring this one up so it goes along in here. I know, how pretty. And again, I didn't do very well on the Coastal Cabana here. Oh, I just saw Hubs and the dog go walking by. I think they're bunny chasing in the backyard. Hobbs loves to look out the window to find all the bunnies. And we have bunnies out in the backyard. Um, we do live in a housing subdivision, but we do have bunnies. So there, did you see how I fixed those real quick? I know. Now we've got this one right here. So again, those two for right now we're going to grab these two and again we started with the blue at the very top did you guys know how to do this um or is this something new to you i you know i'm finding everything that i thought i knew i just assume everybody else knows and somebody reached out and they said dawn no i didn't know that and i'm like really okay well because i just assume that everybody does so a lot of times i don't hit that and i don't want to short you on it because basically guys when you guys tune in with me on sunday nights and on wednesday afternoons you know this is a free class right so all righty so now on this one it is going to cover up a little bit here but that's okay it's just going to hit the tail end of it there's that one 
there. See, look at how pretty that is. And guys, that's the exact same stamp. We used four of those colors like that, and it just really is really nice. Love the cards. Carol Grove says me. I don't know what me was. Oh, I gotta. I wish these comments would show up like right away while I'm doing it, so I'd know exactly what I was talking about. Oh my gosh, gotta love it, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna play with the sky and with the waves. Okay, first off, see this little one right here? It's this one right here. To me, that kind of looks like a, a hat, you know, like the little hats you would make out of newspaper as a kid. That's what that one reminds me of. Well, that's if it was this way. That's if it was this way with the point on the top. The point actually, oh, lighthouses, yeah. Oh my gosh, did you see that new lighthouse one? My mom, I even asked her, because my mom loves lighthouses. And I'm like, mom, are you gonna buy that? And she's like, oh, I don't know, I have all these lighthouses. Well, then I talked to her the other day, and she was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy that. I'm like, yeah, really, you think? Alrighty, so here for the water part, okay. Now I'm gonna play with all three of these blues. I'm gonna do Coastal Cabana, then Bermuda Bay, then the Pacific Point. So I'm going to show you what to do on these. Let me move those two out the way. Again, always start light to dark. So I'm taking this one and I'm hitting the whole thing. See how I've colored the whole thing with the Calypso Coral? Then I'm going to grab hold of the Bermuda Bay and very highly technical, guys. Very highly technical. Let me flip this so you guys can see. Ready? You're going to take your Bermuda Bay and, again, very technically, you're going to go whoosh, whoosh, and whoosh. You're just throwing a little bit of extra color on it. So you can pretend that you're Zorro if you would like. Anybody else like, in, what is it, Antonio Banderas? You can do that. Or who was the original one? Was that Errol Flynn? He was the original Zorro, right? I'm waiting for my husband to holler in. He didn't holler at me. Okay, then the last piece that you're going to do is on your Pacific point. Now remember, it's going to go, the point is on the bottom. The straight edge is there on the top. So you're going to take this, and are you ready? You're just going to go right along the top, just putting a little tiny bit like that. That's it. Okay, ready? And then here's where the magic happens. You're gonna line it right up next to that boat and I'm gonna try not to get my noggin in there and go, boom. See how it looks like it's the reflection of the boat on it? I know, right? Now, because we used all those different colors, you do wanna clean it between the two, just like what we did with the uh, sails, okay? So we've got that and we're gonna do the same thing here again put all the Calypso Coral on first. Okay, who's gonna be Zorro, ready? Ready, set, and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I know. And then we're gonna take our Pacific Point and just go along on the top, whoosh. And then we're just gonna line that one up down here. And it's right about there. There, that one actually showed better. Can you see how you can see all three shades on that? I mean, guys, it's really pretty. Alrighty, so then this piece is actually done. Ugh. I should have grabbed a bunch of blocks, but I thought, ah, I can make do with just a couple. Yeah. Oh, wait, I need one of the bigger ones. Okay. Um, then the last piece that we're going to do for the coloring on this is this big, long one here. Now guys, this is officially, this is supposed to be the, the water, like the ocean, the lake, the whatever it is. But I'm gonna show you how to make it into sky as well. Alrighty, so you can see on here, it's got two very distinct edges. One is wider and one's like a pointy. See, there's the pointy, it goes to a point, and then this one right here is wider. Doesn't matter which side you use. Again, we're going to do the exact same three colors that we did before. All right, so, so I'm going to use the, the pointy end on this. I'm just going to go about halfway. You can go further if you want it, but I know it's going to go off. So there's all that. And then here, ready? Zorro. One, two, three. You know what? Let's just do a couple more. And then on this one, I want it to go this way. So I'm going to take my... Pacific point and just go along on the top like that. There. Can you guys see how that's all on there? So again we go, <sighs> are you ready? This is a lot of fun. So you ready? I've got it going sideways because there's water here on both. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to go right along in here and I'm going to go 
Smoosh, press, pick up. There's still a little bit down here, so I'm going to go right along in here and I'm going to press. Oops, let me move that out the way. Pick that up so you see it add a little bit more. And then I know there's still some along in here, so I'm just going to go sideways and press that there. And you're just going to keep doing it. See how it just gave a little tiny bit of blue? You're just going to keep doing that to get all of the ink or as much as you can off. And that way then it gives you different dimensions too. I know, right? Okay, so now that that's all off, I'm just going to real quick go over it. Now on this one, because I've already got all the different colors in that I want, so all I'm going to do is grab my Coastal Cabana. And on this one, I'm not even going to... I'm just going to kind of hit it all over. And maybe put a little bit of the Bermuda Bay. Not a whole lot. All right. So we're going to stamp that again down here on the bottom. And I did not do the Pacific Point up there on the top. So again, press down. And all it's doing is just adding some different shading there into the back. Now, see this spot that's up here? I want that to have a little bit of a cloud, a little bit of sky. So again, just clean this off. Now on this one, because I want it to be the sky, I'm actually going to use my Pacific Point and, actually I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and then the purple for the gorgeous grape. So on this one, Again, I don't want to use the pointy end on this one, so I'm going to use the thicker end. I'm going to color this all with Bermuda Bay. I'm going to color about two-thirds of it. And then I'm going to take my Pacific Point and do Zorro again. And then because I want it to come in on this side, but I want the purple down here on the bottom, which is now my top along in here, now I'm going to take my gorgeous grape and just go along. Now, because this is really dark, I don't want it really dark, I'm gonna take it here on my grid paper, I'm gonna press down. See how dark that would have been? I did not want that. And then up here, I'm just gonna bring it and I'm gonna press down. So it's got a little bit of sky there. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna put a little bit there. And maybe a little bit up there. I know, right? Now, if you wanted, you could put some more along in here. Totally up to you, it's your card because that's almost all gone. Just do it that way. There. But see how that now looks like it's got sky? Did you guys know you could do that? I mean, I know, fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's see, I had my, there it is. Oh, well, hello, Miss Denise. It's good to see you on here. Hello, Miss Pam. Oh, Pam, thank you so much for sharing. I always forget to ask. Guys, if this is something that you guys like, make sure you do share it with your friends, please. All right, so here's this. So I'm gonna peel that piece off. I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, I didn't put in the sale, but well, we'll do that one later. Okay, then the other thing I want to do, because I have one more craft show here in May, and you guys know there's a lot of graduations going on. So I have a piece of the Highland Heather, which those of you who don't know, Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape are a dynamic duo. They go beautifully together. So I'm going to take this piece of Highland Heather, and this one is four inches by five and a quarter. So four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to grab my gorgeous grape. You could do it any color that you want. And you're just going to go along on here, and this is how you color your stamps. Again, even though we showed you how to do that with the sailboats and all of that, did you know you could do that also with the um, sentiments? I know. Like I said, when Nina got the markers and she was like, Dawn, you're going to love those. I'm like, Nina, that's $110. I don't have $110. Holy crap. You get all four color families, the main ones, not in colors. And it even comes in a nice carrying case. So here's my Let Your Dream Set Sail. And I'm just going to come down here to the corner, the bottom. Let's go bottom right. Ready? One, two, three. Press down. Ta-da! Let your dream set sail, and if you boo-boo it, which I did a little tiny bit right there, I'm just going to come back in here and fix that. Again, this is why you love your markers. Okay, so there we've got our let your dream set sail. 
then we are going to grab hold of our seashells 3d oops, let me get that out of the way seashells 3d embossing folder okay because you know it's seashells and this is sea based right so what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and i should have grabbed my magic box shouldn't i okay so you ready you put it in here like this make sure this is dried before you put it in because once you put it in here the ink will transfer onto this so i put it in here i run it through my embossing folder and through the magic of tv ready everybody winkle your noses like elizabeth montgomery from bewitched twinkle 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 and ta-da look at how beautiful that is did you know you could do that i know did you know that i know but look at how pretty that is and you see it was already all on there so that's why you stamp first and then emboss we always go on the spa treatment here stamp punch assemble well with all of our toys now guys stamping is always first assembly is always last and everything else goes in the middle embossing punching die cutting whatever it is all of that goes in the middle that's just the easiest way to do it there's always exceptions but there we go alrighty so so you can see this right here that we've got so far but wait do you guys want to see a little sneak peek of next month's one actually this month's one I know now you guys knew you got that whole package of the ribbon and the bling and then they actually got pearl paper and lighthouse paper well what you're getting this next month for this May for the amazing year class you're going to get a whole package and this is the 12 by 12 pretty prints designer series paper and guys we were only able to order two packages that's it that was all we were allowed to, allowed to pre-order so I did cut some of it and I put it on here so you guys can see but look at all the colors that coordinate with it all of them and guys this is a $12 package of paper okay this is my full package it's not it's still sealed it's not opened you ready this is all I have left that's it for that whole package that's it because again we could only order two packages this is how much this paper is and it's beautiful you will love this paper so they're going to get that you're going to get that then the next thing you're going to get is a half of a package and these are new bling this is called the 2021 to 2023 in color opal rounds and guys you're going to get a half a package so i have it here on the white so you can see but guys, do you see how pretty this is? And it coordinates so nicely with so many of these different colors in here. I mean, so pretty with it. But that's what you're going to get for your bling. And then the last thing, because we're going to do some blending brushes, you're also going to get a blending brush. That is this month's kit that we're using with that amazing year stamp set and the Stylish Shapes dies. So that is this coming one. And you can sign up for that now. You won't see anything about it because I can't even order the stamp set until Tuesday. Yep. Okay, so there's that one. So that's what's coming. I love these brushes. If you guys don't have the blending brushes, you normally get three in a package. I actually bought these and split them up so you'll have that to go with it. All right, so back to this month's class. Well, back to the stamp set that we use for this month. So here we've got this but remember the beautiful metallic mesh ribbon i'm going to take out a, a length of it and guys i tie it right off of the spool you may choose to take it and cut and that's totally up to you you do you okay but what i want to do and you know what i'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on this so i'm gonna scrub out my silicone mat so on this one i'm going to grab hold of my seal and i'm just going to put some just a little bit of adhesive back there on the back all right, so I'm spreading this out and I'm just coming over and I know I'm going way far on it, but I wanted to make sure that it will hold it and I don't want it that wide. So I'm actually gonna cut mine in half, and bring that down here. Okay, so you guys can see that there, pull this over. And this way then when you tie off from the spool, you don't waste as much. You're still gonna waste some guys, just be aware, you're still gonna waste some. So I'm kind of folding this in half tie a very large loopy bow but look at how pretty that is I mean isn't that like you could do that like on a Christmas present isn't that beautiful I love this ribbon I'm so happy that it continued 
like I said, I used it at a retreat. I've used it in a couple of different classes over the last couple of years. And then we used it last uh, in April for the coffee club. All right, so here's this, and I'm gonna make it a nice loopy bow. So you make it however you want it to be. And I'm gonna grab my snips. And I'm just gonna trim that a little bit longer than what I want because the bow I know is too big, but that's okay. So there, we've got this. All right, so now that that's on there, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it over, and now I'm gonna put the rest of my adhesive on this. You know what, let me put this back together. Can you guys see how this curls onto itself and it just catches on everything? If you have a bad piece of skin, by the way, it will snag onto your skin too. Just saying, make sure either you have uh, hand lotion on or that you've got, um, yeah, gloves on or something. All right, so there's that. And we're just going along and we're putting it all the way on all four sides. I know some people will only put a little tiny bit of adhesive. That's up to you. I don't want it to come apart. So then we're just putting, and then I'm gonna take one piece and go straight down the center so that that way then this ribbon also is being held there. Okay, and then I've got my piece of Highland Heather. Actually, let me just set that there so I don't set it, and I'll move that aside. And this is eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle there at four and a quarter. Oops. Speaking of hand lotion, huh? There we go, flip it over. All right, so here's your card base. It's going to open regular. So grab that. Make sure you've got your wording going the right way. And then we're just going to put that directly onto that. Now, guys, I want to show you something real quick because I, I always have a backup just in case. Because, you know, if you're going to make one, you might as well make two type of thing. So I want to show you the difference, how an embossing folder just makes it just that much better. Remember how I'd taken this and I showed you, I stamped onto it and then we pretended to put it here in the seashells and then it came up to there. Look at how different that looks just by adding that embossing folder. Don't even look at the ribbon, but just look at how different that is. That just bumps that up. And guys, the embossing folders can get reused a zillion times. I love my embossing folders. All right, so there's this one. Let's see if I can make those a little smaller. There we go. And again, you're gonna play with your bow, make it how you want it to be. All right, so now that I've got my card base, and I am gonna take this and roll that back up and move that out of the way. And again, guys, this is not one of the cards that was in it, but this is how they can take their sixth item, which was this piece here, remember? They had the two white and the three by six, three by three card. Cut those in half so they're each three by three, and then using their whites, they can make, I know, right? So we're gonna take this one and we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on the back of this. And don't forget, I'm gonna show you guys all the beautiful cards that we made for this for the April class too. I know, isn't that just so pretty? And then we're gonna grab our dimensionals here. And you guys will see me do this with the dimensionals, one in every corner, please, because you don't want it to go kind of wonky. Um, and then one in the center. And for those of you who are visual like me, think of it noon, three, six, nine, and then one in the center for the hands on the clock face. So are you guys enjoying this? I know if Nancy's still on here, she's gonna love it because of the purple. All right, so there's this one. And then all I'm gonna do is bring that here and see, I should've moved that down just a wee bit, but that's okay. So we're just gonna put that right up along in here. So let's just kind of tuck it under that. Okay, so there's that, but wait, there's more. Remember those feet, faux sea glass shapes that they got as part of the kit? I know. This is why you guys wanna be part of the coffee club. You just get so much fun stuff. Now these colors, and I write them on the back, and these are continued into the new catalog. They are just jade, old olive, and basic, or and white, okay? So that's the white, that's the old olive, and that's the just jade. Now guys, Just Jade went away, so they'll probably just call that green and olive or light green and dark green or something like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some, one of each of the three colors. I'm just gonna kind of throw those down here with the sea glass. And let's go with this one right there. And all I did was put the three pieces of the sea glass there. And then if you really wanted to bump it up, grab your Wink of Stella, 
shake it up first. And then down here on the, the water, just kind of gloss over it. Not everywhere, just kind of splatter with it. And if you want, you can even hit some here on the clouds. Oh, Carol Gross says, yes, purple. <laughs> you guys in your purples. I swear. Oh my gosh. So we're just putting a little bit of bling onto that, or a little bit of sparkle onto it. Nothing fancy, just enough onto it. So there, what do you think? Fast and easy, really. I mean, it really was. Yes, you have to have markers, but guys, the markers are the great way to do it, especially if you don't have all the colors. Those are just perfect because then you have all of the colors. So who's wanting to see the rest of the cards that they made last month for the April class? See, oh, sorry, you do want to put a piece of white on the inside? Let me grab that. Here's your white piece to go on the inside. This is light enough, you'd probably be okay. But while I'm waiting to see if anybody wants to see the cards, you're welcome to, oh, Nancy Francis says, yay, purple. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Nancy was kind enough. Uh, I went out and delivered the last of my catalogs the other night. Poor Nancy. I did not get hers dropped off. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what was it, Nancy? Like 9.45 at night when I ran up to your door and left it? Thankfully, her dogs did not go nuts on it. Okay, so don't forget there's that in the center. And if you want, you can also stamp a sailboat on that. But look at how pretty that is. Wouldn't that be great to give to somebody for a graduation, for a new job, for a move, for anything like that? Thank you, Carol Grove. Carol Grove says, yes, I want to see the cards. Okay, well, I already showed you number six, which was right here with all of those. Now, guys, on those for the birdies, I just used different color markers onto it. I could have added those up here. I just did not. I just did not put the birds onto it. I wanted to have two sailboats. All right, so that was card... That was item six that they made. So again, they could now take this, cut it apart, and then they can make their own card with it because they had the bling and they had the ribbon. So all they had to do was add in their own card base to it. And then like I added in the, um, yeah, the embossing folder. So see, that one would have been right there. Ta-da! I know, right? Okay, so that would have been card. That was item six. Alrighty, then, let's see. All right, you ready? This was card one, and guys, this I do have to show you. That ribbon, look at how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look like the water has glistening onto it? I know, I just put two pieces of ribbon on it. And this right here, that's the pearlescent paper. Uh-huh, beautiful. And guys, you know, I used some of my New Horizons paper and I went ahead and I cut that for them. Everything was ready, all they had to do was stamp and assemble, that was it, and then I also showed them, make sure you stamp your envelope. So that was card one. Oops, I had these backwards. Let's try this one. Card two, and this one, I like, you guys know, I only make cards that I like anymore. We added some of that supple shimmer paper and it comes in a pink and then this blue color. Well, they got a square of this and I'll show you what we do with the rest of it there. But we just punched out the sails onto it. Look at there. And then can you see here on the embossing folder, this is the stripes and splatters, ready? So I put the stripes up there on the top and the splatters down here on the bottom because I thought that kind of looked like the sky and that kind of looked like the water. I know, right? Oops. That moved out. So guys, again, these are the class, these are the things we make there at the class. So if this is something that you think you would like, make sure you sign up. Because my subscribers, on the third, I am ordering that paper for them. And I am ordering the bling. Because I would anticipate that those papers and that bling are going to be very hugely popular. So there's one, two. Look at that beautiful paper, guys. That's that um, Symbols of Fortune paper. And see, that's the other half right there. See, we tore it, and this one is torn. And again, Adventure Awaits. Used our markers, there's our ribbon, and then I even stamped on the inside there. Oops, and I even put the birdies up there. Um, okay, these last two, I like these, okay? These are these are all good cards, don't get me wrong. These two are my favorites. Um, uh, da, 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 da. They got a half a package of the linen, and I just don't know which one to show you first. So, well, we'll do this one. 
this one because you, did you know you can stamp on the linen paper did you know those um, you were stealth I'm amazed the dog I'm amazed the dogs didn't hear me either Nancy those are well yes those are when I do my coffee club class guys you can make it as wow as you want or you don't have to do that that's why we do it as an online to go class. If I was doing this at an in-person class, you're looking at at least $65 and you're probably gonna be here for four hours. By doing it online, you can use your own stamps and inks. You can change it up the way that you want and you have some really nice ideas. And guys, it's $39. You're getting about 20 to $25 worth every month. Um, this last month, they got over $27. And then when I added in the half of the uh, polished dots, just as my gift to those subscribers guys it was 30 bucks i mean they they got a really good deal okay let me do this first let me take this piece off this is what they call a gatefold guys this is the baseball paper in case you did not know this is the baseball paper and everything was already cut to them for them this was the um the poppy parade paper that goes with it and then on the inside we stamped the sailboat okay right all right, so you ready? Because it's a gatefold, and sometimes gatefolds don't stay closed, so we did a belly band. Are you ready for this one? Let me put the belly band back on. And we use the linen paper. And guys, if you did not know, the linen paper can be colored on, can be stamped on. You cannot run the linen paper through a punch. You can do it through a die, but you cannot do it through a punch. It's too heavy, ready? Oh, and it's adhesive backed. Ready? So see, here's the ribbon going around the back. Ready? 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 <gasps> Ta-da! Look at how pretty that is. Now, can you guys see that on the linen paper? It is just stunning. I mean, stunning. Beautiful. I love this card. That one, I think, is actually my favorite S. But the other, which is a very close second, was, and again, we did a gatefold. And again, we used that, um, the seashells embossing folder on this one. See, it's got the seashells embossing folder and it's on this flap too. And I did not stamp anything on the inside. So this one, the gatefold was landscape. This one is portrait. And again, we stamped here onto this. This is the linen on the back here. We put some of that, um, the waves paper, which is still available guys. But my subscribers, that's what they got last month was the waves paper. And then we put some more of that beautiful shimmery the metallic mesh ribbon onto it I know so guys if this is the kind of stuff that you like doing make sure you sign up for the coffee club it's $39 yes you get normally you get uh, the paper some kind of a ribbon the bling along in that line okay but you know prices went up so um, this next month like I said you're getting oops sorry, let me put those back in here because this one can go right into your wallet. I mean, right into your purse, right into your car, whatever you want to do. And it's just something to brighten somebody's day. Those of you who took my reverse Lenten challenge, you guys know um, we did that reverse Lenten challenge class that you were to give away your cards. 40 cards, 40 days, just to brighten somebody else's day. That's all it was. This one is kind of a continuation of it, but now you're using little three by three cards and you've got a little carrying case, so it's all on there. But guys, with all of that, I know, right? And all of my extras have already been sold. So the only thing available on these is the PDF tutorial. If you do want it, send me an email. It is $20 for the PDF tutorial. And then this was the extra. So again, they could have made just this part and they could have made two of those because they got two white and then they would have cut the purple down to the three by three. And then they would make their own card. They'd use their own supplies to make a, whatever kind of card they wanted. So remember, this next month for the May class, you're getting a half a package of those in-color dots, you're getting the blending brush, and then guys, you're getting a full package of this, the Pretty Prince Designer Series paper, a full package, full, full. And guys, there are 12 sheets. Do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're getting one sheet of each of those. And again, $39, so there is that. And, hmm, so what'd you guys think? Which one was your favorite? -est? Did you like how we did that for changing this one up by just taking that little three by three and making it into that so it came from here to this? 
Or did you guys like it with the pearlescent? Now, the only thing on the pearlescent, they did have to let it dry. I let mine dry overnight and I still needed to use the heat tool on it because it was still wet. But guys, I just love that. Um, like this one, like I said, you just put that, that ribbon right across the designer series paper and man, that just made that card. And that linen paper was beautiful, absolutely beautiful on it. I mean, guys, we have so many different things, but it was so hard to plan that May class because so many things were selling out. So um, this month's class, try again, that was the April class. For the April class, so many things were selling out. But for the May class, we are using that new Pretty Prince paper. And guys, on the 3rd, I am ordering for everybody who is already a subscriber just flat out ordering. In the event that you don't sign up until the 15th and it's on back order on the 15th, I will make it an equal substitution, an equal or comparable substitution. But guys, right now my subscribers, I take care of them because that's why they sign up for it every month, not even knowing what it's gonna be and they take the class. So because they put their faith in me, I'm putting my faith in them and I want them to have that paper. So if you are thinking about it, do sign up. Do sign up pretty soon for it, okay? Um, I would sign up before the 3rd because in the wee hours of the morning on the 3rd, I'm ordering enough for my subscribers for those dots and I'm ordering enough for those subscribers for the paper. I do have a couple packages of these, but I am going to go ahead and get a couple more on them so, um, because I know you can use these all the time. And you guys know you can reuse these, right? You just wash them out with soap and water and you can reuse them. I love it. They do have a slight tinge to it, like my one. Hold on a second. I'll grab it for you. This is the one that I have been using. Can you guys see that? It's got like yellow and gray, and I think there's some purple and blue in there. It's still, all you have to do is just reuse it. It's the ink out of it, it's just dyed those colors. This is the brand new, and this one has been used oh, zillions of times. But these are great because you can reuse those. So, alrighty, let me see if there's any comments. Did I miss anybody on here? Anybody have any questions about anything we did? Um, Oh, Joyce said, yes, would love to see the other card. Thank you. Um, yeah, those really are wow factor cards, guys. Um, but you noticed none of them were hard cards. None of them. A brand new stamper could make every single one of those. Now, they may not have been able to use an embossing folder, but I bet you a dime to a dollar, most crafters have at least one embossing folder in their stash. At least one. They have all that whole thing of ribbon. They had the whole package of the bling. And then they had all, they actually had a half, a full sheet. It was a half a package, but it was a full 12 by 12 sheet of the linen paper and a full 12 by 12 sheet of the pearlescent paper. So guys, they could make so many extras of them. I mean, so many extras. Just pick which one's your favorite and go from there. And like if I used linen and you didn't like the linen, you have a whole thing of pearlescent, use that. Or if you didn't like the pearlescent, use the linen. The only thing, remember, linen paper, you cannot punch that out. You can die cut it, you can cut it, but you cannot use it on our punches. They're just too thick. All right, so let's see. Did I miss anybody? Oh, uh, Jennifer, I like your comment about making room for the new stuff. Um, you guys can see, if you look up there uh, in that top one right up there, that bigger right there, you can see there's a couple of empties for my papers because on the third, I'm ordering all of the papers. I'm just ordering this, I know, but I had to make room for them. So I've been pulling everything. I've been trying to organize it. Everything's all priced, but um, guys, the BOGO won't be until sometime in July. If it will be the earliest would be in July. Okay, so it may be August, but it'll probably be July sometime. It's just gonna depend on how it's gonna work. Okay, so we've got a lot going on. I know you guys do too. Um, let's see, were there any questions? Oh yeah, Carol Grove, you're gonna love that lighthouse. If you haven't yet seen that in the catalog, oh my gosh, those dies with that lighthouse. Um, for those of you who have the catalog, and guys, if you're part of, um, if you're one of my hosts or one of my club members, you got the heavy duty plastic on the front and the back. I do that, I bind these myself for you guys. That's how much I love you. And it takes me like 20 to 30 minutes to do those. I mean, seriously, guys takes a while okay and I was just gonna say oh the lighthouse um, it's called lighthouse point and it is on page 100 
hundred here in the big cat. Oh, I almost picked that up to show you. Oh, I think I got lipstick on my teeth. Sorry. All right. Um, yeah, guys, there's some beautiful dyes. I'm going to hold it down here so I don't accidentally pick it up. Some beautiful dyes with it, and it, isn't, it even has some die cuts onto it for your sentiments. I mean, guys, really nice. And they have some sentiments on there that say, your light shines brighter than you know. I would be lost without you. Always here for you. Sending you love and light. That would be perfect for church if you're sending out for any of your peeps that way. You are so loved. Again, perfect for church peeps so much thanks and then it's got the lighthouse it's got the different um you know how lighthouses have the different colors on to them you can stamp it so it goes like light or white red white red white red or there's a die cut that actually has it as the diagonal um actually the diagonal thing that one would even be great for a um for a barber if you know anybody who's an actual old timey barber um yeah that would be perfect for them but yeah page 100 of the new catalog I almost grabbed that. Man, somebody would have turned me into compliance for sure on that one. <laughs> so guys, if you're not yet on my email list, remember, I just sent out that email. I did add it here on this Facebook page, okay? So if you want, you can click on that, read the newsletter, and inside of that are the links for this next class, the um, Amazing Year class with the paper, the bling, and this. The link is on that. The link is also there for the designer series paper share and guys you can look through and see what all you're getting um, my team members get a very slight discount for it because i don't bag them individually for them that way then they can use it in their business but um if you're a, a newer demonstrator it's a great way to get some without spending the 200 and i think it was 210 plus the shipping and the tax so guys i mean you're talking like 240 dollars so for 50, I think it was like 58 or $59 is what it was. And each one of them is individually packaged. Each one of them is individually labeled. You could then throw them up on your shelf like I do mine. And then you've got them that way. So, all right. I think that was it. Whew, okay. Okay, I think that was it. Sorry, guys. I had to get something to drink. My goodness. All right. Well, I am so glad you guys love those cards. Um, like I said, I, this was one of my favorite classes. I posted it yesterday on my Facebook page. And if you're not getting my Facebook notifications, make sure you're under notifications so that way then you get notified when I go. Um, Joyce says, thank you for your great tips and ideas. Guys, thank you. I, I love that, Joyce. Thank you. You're so sweet to say that. But like I said, because this is a, not an in-person class, there's no way I could do this class in person for that price. I mean, there's just, there's no way. Um, you'd be here for many, many hours. So this way then it is something you can do in the comfort of your own craft room. And like I did, I, I really do set it up so that you're across from me. So I'm, I'm kind of pretending I'm talking to you as I'm doing the video recording. I've already stamped everything ahead of time, but like that, I showed you guys how to color the, the clouds and the water so that that way then you can get that tricolor effect onto it and just make it look so cool. I mean, you can't even tell that that's the same stamp down there with the water, the whole thing of the water, and then how I did it on the clouds up there. You can't even tell that's the same stamp. It's just so stinking cool. I love this. I love this stamp set. Just one of the best ones. So I thank you guys for tuning in with me. I will see you on Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon. No, at 1 o'clock p.m. Sorry, at 1 o'clock p.m. for that Facebook Live. I'll be talking about new stuff. And guys, I will probably do a Facebook Live sometime tomorrow. I got to mow because it's been raining most of the day and I didn't want to go out this afternoon with it being hot. But if you want to tune in tomorrow, just make sure you are notified when I go live. That's one of the big things. Just click up there at the top for, um, for following or notifications or however it's set up on yours. So that way then you're notified when I go live because I am going to talk about, hey, don't forget today, tomorrow is your last chance to get the last few things out of the retiring catalog. And then starting on Tuesday is the new stuff. And guys, I will be up in the wee hours of the morning placing an order. So if any of you want something and you want it really, really bad right away, 
make sure you reach out to me. I'll have you stop by and we'll have you sign the credit card form, uh, the Sampin' Up form with your credit card number. I will place the order for you at the same time I place my order because I have a big order going in to get all of the designer series papers and all the papers for the paper share. And then like this, I need to get this stamp set and I need for my subscribers, I need to get the papers so that theirs is already in there. Um, it's against compliance for me to buy things without having the money already in hand. So that's why you do want to sign up for that class as soon as you possibly can. Alrighty. Have a great night, guys. Enjoy. Stay nice and warm. Enjoy this beautiful weather. I think it's supposed to be nice here tomorrow in central Ohio. So for those of you, oh, thank you, whoever sent those hearts up. Thank you, guys. Um, so for those of you who are in that <coughs> state up north, <coughs> I hope you guys have good weather up there, too. So have a great night, guys. We'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow sometime and then for sure on Wednesday. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.